So, shall we give her applause to the living God? God is good and all the time. Amen. I welcome you all in the name of the Lord. Amen. It is good that you are here this morning. I know that you are tired. But the Lord is giving us a new spring. Amen. Those who are waiting upon the word, the Lord shall renew their strength. Amen. I know that you are not losing anything. Amen. But rather you are getting a new strength. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Without wasting my time, I would like everyone to give an applause as I'm inviting the man of God to welcome Prophet Oliver Walker. Giving the Lord a clap today. How many came expecting today? How many came today because you came expecting? Lift your hand because I can sense that someone came looking for the move of God today. And Father, we give you praise. And we give you thanks for your presence here. Lord, I thank you that you will honor the expectation of your people today. Lord, as this hand is lifted, no one leaves empty handed today. In the name of Jesus, we thank you that every need is already met. Every sickness, every spiritual condition, every financial condition, every family condition is already cured in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you thanks and we give you glory in advance and we give you honor. Put your hands together and give the Lord another clap. Amen. Take your seats quickly. Take out your Bibles. Open to Psalms 126. I'm going to preach in just a few minutes. And I can sense in the next few minutes or so that something will begin to happen in this room. And I want you to look at your neighbor and say that blessing is reserved for me. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I want to let you know right now, today, I have an appointment with the prophet of God, with the Holy Spirit. Psalms 126. If you have it, say amen. And when the Lord brought them back, and when, when the Lord, I want you to see this carefully. When the Lord brought back the captives to Zion, not if the Lord, but the text says, when the Lord brought back the captives, when he brought them back to Zion, it says in verse 1, we were like men who dreamed. Our mouths were filled with laughter and our tongues were filled with joy. Then it was said among the nations that the Lord has done this great thing among us. But the Lord has done great things for us and he has filled our hearts with joy. Verse 4, for he has restored our fortunes. You have restored our fortunes, O Lord, like the streams of waters. And I know 